carry on with our service today. We would love for that Buddhism and Godzilla to come as a congate as of Bula, the prayer conference with the prayer. That you might don't tell, like, can you just open your mind and just bless us and open the service with prayer. Our Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, tonight you are Lord. Tonight you are the great I am. Tonight you are God who was, is, and will ever be. Tonight you are Alpha, you are Omega. Tonight you are the leader of the dead. Tonight you are the rose of share. Tonight you are the great I am. Tonight you are God who was, is, and will ever be. Halloween be your name. What an exciting moment we are having that we come before your throne of grace, that we bow, Lord, before your holy prayers. It is an important time. We thank you for having granted us this time in the name of Jesus. Here we are. We pray, mighty God, that you rend your heavens, that mighty Father, you come down, that mighty Father, you influence us in the right direction. Thank you for your presence. Where can we go, Lord, from, from your presence? We rely, we depend on you. We are like branches that are dependable on the vine. My Lord and my God, we pray that there be an ushering of your presence upon each and every one of us. We pray that we hear you, O God, as you speak to us. We pray, my dear Father, that you cause us, Lord, to touch base with your will tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Lord. We say, arise, O God, and let all your enemies gather in the name above all other names, the name above all authority, the name above all food. That's the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord. Amen. Thank you so much, Dr. Fulisi. Thank you so much for opening the service with a prayer. Let's do that. Uh, before we actually do anything, let's just get uh, some anticipation on the way so that we can go straight away to our prayers. So, Tandaza, our main thing today here is to pray. We're going to pray. This is a prayer conference, but let's just get away with at least just a friendly reminder. We will ask you to actually open your minds to us when we are about to engage in prayer. So please unmute yourself so that you can also engage in prayer. Secondly, we are streaming live on Facebook. If you are there on Facebook, just comment Amen, 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 Amen. We request you to actually share the link, share the link to one or two friends so that they can actually join in this prayer conference. Share the link to your friends. Tell them that we have been this prayer conference. Also share it to Telegram so that people can come and join in this prayer conference. We are just a friendly reminder once again, we are streaming live on Facebook with the following Facebook pages so that you don't, if you've got a problem with connections, you can actually go into the following Facebook pages. That is to each Facebook page that are only see Kenny Vagai, uh, Kenneler AOG, Brown Fisher AOG, Rockville AOG, AOG Western Beef, AOG P2G, Assemblies of God. Uh, we also request you, if you've got any prayer requests, if you've got any prayer requests, don't hesitate to just drop a message, a direct message to any group at means. If possible, um, you can also comment on Facebook. If you're on Facebook, if you've got any prayer requests, Right now, we're going to go to the main thing that we came for. We're going to open our minds and engage in prayer. I want you to all pass in prayer. Open our minds. Libra. 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 Libra.
Be greeted, saints, once again. Be greeted, saints, once again in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Uh, can I just get an amen if you could actually open your mics and just uh, clap your hands? That would mean amen. Can you just do that for me? Be greeted, saints. Can you also utilize the chat box to just type amen? Saints, once again, uh, we're going to South Delaga Safaga Misa, we're going to call upon our pastor, Pastor Kai, who's currently residing in Kenilworth AOG and in Ramfisha AOG. He's also part of the Western Reef RCC scene to actually carry on with the same South Delaga Tanaway. That we fully see a new girl at Congo, and that we fully see Kai, can you just ascend? The stage uh, over to you, the Holy Sugai. Thank you so much, uh, Brother uh, Samira Bunjana, for that great welcome. And, uh, and thank you so much for everything. We are grateful to the Lord that we are here uh, tonight. I must say that this is indeed the day that we have been uh, praying for, praying about, to ensure that it becomes a day that is a successful day. And uh, that day has gone. There is no more waiting. The day has gone that we are here today, and uh, we are grateful to the Lord for, for it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the precious Son of the living God, we are here and there is now no more. So, beloved saints, uh, I'm very much grateful that this day is here. Try to look at something here that I don't quite get well. Uh, just one sec, I'm getting something here. Libra Shoko Bosia, Mandele Bosia, Libro Shoko Bosia. Yeah, wonderful, I'm sorted. Yeah, once again, thank you so much for connecting and choosing to uh, spend your evening with us on our day one of the three days of prayer conference. Three days of prayer conference it starts today, the end of on Wednesday, the 10th of November 2021. We know that there is a great stuff that are in store for us tonight. There's no way we will be this place the same way we were when we started. We have been here different people for all has great stuff in store for our lives. Let me join you in welcoming you all from all the platforms and all the different geographical places that you are connecting with us from. We are fully aware that there are people from uh, all the nine provinces here that are connected here. We are fully aware that there is also a cross of the world of SA. In this house, we very much appreciate the saints for your connection, and we also want to welcome all of you on those uh, seven Facebook pages that are connected here. Thank you so so much for connecting on those uh, Facebook pages. Uh, while there, you are able to be part of us and participate and, and do everything that is done here and receive the blessing that all of us are going to be receiving here tonight. So, I must inform you a bit about the background of this whole conference. So that you know where it comes from. You know, you can only appreciate what you know, the background of what we are dealing with here and the very apple of their own before we get to the word of the Lord. Now, um, it's been about a little over, a little under two months that the Lord gave us an instruction to start the daily morning prayers. A little under two years, two months, uh, and we call them daily command or daily prayer sessions. And these prayers are, are focusing on really bringing back the restoration, if you like, of a very critical uh, truth, and we'll come back to that and we'll form the closing here by, by Wednesday. So we began just praying every morning, and uh, we felt a need to really ask of our Father and the Apostle Ubu Mabu Komanda to come join us in the morning as we pray at 5 o'clock every morning, Monday to Monday, to Monday if you like. Now, while the arrangements were made, and he was about to join us this morning, uh, the 8th, the 9th, and the 10th, 5 o'clock in the morning, while planning for them, a thought just came, in fact, an advice just came uh, to say, look, we might not really be able to uh, do justice if we, if we do this in the morning with, with, with him, with him as our father. Let's rather take this to the evening and, and, and bring about a prayer conference so that you're able to invite yourselves to be here so that you can also participate and become the recipient of the blessing that we are going to be having here tonight in the form of the ministration of the word of the living God. So that's how the three days prayer conference was born. 
to say, let's take this to the evening. Let's make it a prayer conference. Let's invite those who may want to come and also be part of this. And, and then it, it, it culminated into what we are sitting here tonight as this being the day one of the three days of prayer the conference. Now, without further ado, allow me then therefore to maybe uh, go ahead and present to you our Father. But before I do so, let me explain one thing here. That this prayer conference being born with that, that, that background that I gave you, it is intended to ensure that, number one, you know, the subject of prayer is one of the most critical subjects, especially now. Especially now. If you look at, should I say, uh, if you can descend the times at which we are, like the sons of Issachar, second book of Chronicles, chapter 12, 32, who had the understanding of times, you'll agree with me that this is not the time for many other things. It's not time for great orators. It's not time for great test of achievement. It's not time for being a great negotiator. This is the time and the only time for praying for the church of the Lord to come back to pray, to come back to pray. And hence, this whole thing was going to say, that let's call ourselves back to pray. Prayer is a call. Because all the other things about us as a church, for that prophetic voice of the church to be restored, all that is locked up in the activity of prayer. And God has hid himself in the activity of prayer. Only when we pray, Shall we be able to meet up with the God who has this up in prayer? Once we meet up, meet up with Him in the corridors of prayer, we will uncover some of the things that the church needs at this time to be able to be restored back to her original position and authority to be able to be that prophetic voice in this the time in which we need. Looking at all the challenges and the storms that are engulfing us, we can only want to come into prayer. Eleven saints, allow me therefore to get straight to you and present our Father, our Daddy, to give us the word of the living God. It's an honor for me to be here tonight. It's also an honor for me to be the one presenting my dad, our Father, to give us the word of the living God, to open up this conference. So I am happy that all of us are here. We will leave this place differently. Now, there's a theme here. Uh, there's a theme here that talks about that is pulled out from the official service of the the mystery of praying all kinds of prayer. The mystery of praying all kinds of prayer. The conference is what about exactly that. Let it say this. Can I ask you that? If you will, you can put your hands together. There's a platform open your mics and just put your hands together as we welcome on this page our Father and the, the Apostle of the Seventh Day's Palette Wow, the Bible and Thank you so much. I think it will be befitting that I indicate that he is the presiding minister, presiding pastor at Raj, the service of God in case of end, and is also by the grace of the Lord one of the teaching team members and has been serving in this our church. One of those great fathers who traveled the journey got to see him. How this ministry was built alongside uh, our late apostle and the father of this world, Baba Wendy H. Wendy. Baba Gomonde, Wendy, we hand over to you. Yes, each one, Mike, the platform. God bless you. Lord Jesus Christ, I count it a privilege to be able to minister to you uh, tonight on this special conference of prayer. We thank God who has opened this opportunity for us to be able to get together and remind one another about the importance of praying according to God's way of praying. We are really privileged to be here when others are able to attend. Uh, thank you for this guy for inviting me. I hope God is going to help us by the time we finish this conference and that we reach Islam where we say, surely God has helped us. We are going to 
the other gifts that are given to the church uh, for, for, for ministering uh, among the church. Paul uh, has come to you tell us in his writings. He says we are uh, to pray in, 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 according to chapter First Corinthians chapter 14 verse 2. Paul says in 14 verse 2, for anyone who speaks in a tongue does not speak to man but to God. So you see, when you speak in the languages or in tongues, you do not actually speak to man, you speak to God. That's a privilege that God has given us to speak to him. That is our spirit speaking to God uh, when we pray to him in spirit. As, as God has said, as Jesus said in John chapter 4, that the time is coming when true worshipers will worship God in spirit and in truth. If you read uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 14, Realize uh, Paul has a lot to say. For instance, when you start from verse 12, he says, Even so, you, since you are zealous of spiritual gifts, let it be for the edification of the church that you may seek to excel. Seek to excel. That, 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 that should be our discipline minister uh, in the body of Christ, they must seek to excel in the edification of the church of God. When you read uh, verse 13 says, therefore let him who speaks in a tongue pray that he may interpret. He that speaks in tongues uh, pray that he may interpret. And maybe I'll come back to that. For if I pray in a tongue my spirit prays. Important note that my spirit prays. Uh, many people have not have not noticed that when they read the Bible, reading, that their spirit, each one's spirit, should be praying to God. My spirit prays, but my understanding is unfruitful. It, 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 it's a very important time uh, for a Christian to be able to pray through his or, his or her spirit. And at that time, our understanding is unfruitful. It doesn't get involved. There's a, 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 there's a blessing in that because there are things which when we pray, we cannot say in the presence of many people. But the time we pray, my spirit prays, I've got an opportunity to even speak those things I wouldn't say in the presence of other people. Even sins for that, sins, uh, spiritual sins that are in, in cannot be confessed. But my spirit praying to God uh, can be able to confess those things that are hidden within me, not being seen by anybody. Now, my, under, my, my, my understanding is unfruitful. It means it is not important. Now, verse 15, what is the conclusion then? This is the New King James Version of it. I will pray with the Spirit. I will pray with the understanding. I will uh, sing with the spirit and I will also sing with the understanding. So you see, there's a time when I should be praying uh, in the spirit. There's a time when I can speak, uh, I can pray in my soul. This is like a transition. There's a time when I transition to pray from my from my understanding and allow the inner person the spirit to talk to god 
And that is a better connection with God than my connection through my mind, which is as a lot of things that are affecting it. So then verse 16 says, otherwise if you uh, then, 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 then verse 16, otherwise if you bless with the spirit, there's something that you must do as a Christian. How will he who occupies the place of the of the unborn say amen? At your giving of thanks, since he does not understand what you say. Now, uh, what I'm trying to say here, there's this opportunity, there's this privilege to use both your spirit and your mind when speaking to God. There, as, as I've said, there are places in the spirit where you cannot reach unless you start to pray in the spirit. It should be something that is happening uh, 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 every time I pray because I need to connect properly with God through my spirit. Then, then when we speak about Paul teaches us these four things, he says to we pray to the Lord, let's pray to the Lord, let's sing to the Lord, let's blessing the Lord, let's giving thanks to the Lord. Now these things all should be happening in a, in a Christian, in this situation of praying in the spirit. As we, as we, I have noted here when I'm quoting the scriptures. And uh, speaking in tongues can be very if interpreted. That's, that's why that's, that's very clear. That's understood, well understood. In fact, we should understand there's time for everything. As the preacher says in chapter 3, there's time to speak those tongues that are necessary for the interpreting to the body of Christ so that this, the one who is seated in the meeting who is unlearned may get edified, may get encouraged, may get a, uh, something for, for to, to think about. But there are times, as I've quoted here, that Paul says, pray to the Lord in the spirit and we sing to the Lord in the spirit we bless the Lord in the spirit we give thanks to the Lord in the spirit there are those times that are very critical when we pray to God in the spirit so every Christian every born again child of God should have this experience of talking to God Pray to God with His Spirit. Pray, pray to God by by His Spirit, singing to God and uh, blessing the Lord and giving thanks to the Lord. And the gift of tongues, uh, uh, when 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 it, it takes place in the church, for instance, uh, with some of you know, uh, prepares uh, the church to receive an interpretation. Uh, as, as we have quoted verse 5 in, in verse 4 in chapter 4 verse 5 it prepares the church we should follow uh, uh, follow the uh, as a, a message comes to the church which is, is brought in tongues so that the, those who have got the gift of the interpretation may bring forth the message to the church people are when, when, once there is of tongues in the church that's what I've, I've experienced in the church people are alerted and unified in the spirit to receive and respond to the inspired word of interpretation which follows there's something that happens in the church and the people become alert and become prepared to hear that is so that they can get what uh, verse 5 says, valuable interpretation for the church so that it can be edified. The primary reason for tongues 
is to speak to God. Primary reason for tongues is to speak to God. For this reason, tongues and interpretation will normally take the form of one of the four categories uh, outlined above as I have uh, as I prompted. Praying to the Lord, singing to the Lord, blessing the Lord, and giving thanks to the Lord. Those it usually takes place in, in those four forms. And when 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 when, when that happens, it may happen in the church, it may happen in, in, in private, where a person is his own or her time with the Lord, where he has time uh, in secret to speak to the Lord. Now, let me, let's go to, to private prayer. <clears throat> in private prayer, that is a personal uh, man to God, experience private prayer a personal man to god experience there are four ways in which tongues can be expressed in our personal communication with god in our privacy if you read the way i've just read for instance first corinthians chapter 14 there is inspired prayer. I'm not, I'm, 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 I'm call it right that way when I first speak about it. It is the same chapter, first Corinthians chapter 14, uh, verse, uh, verse 14. Inspired prayer. There is inspired singing. That is in verse 14 and 15. Inspired singing. We, 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 we miss a lot, brethren, when these things do not happen, when we do not experience these things, where we do not experience inspired prayer. Inspired prayer may not only, inspired singing may not be only for myself in my, in my, my closet. It can happen if we, in the church while we are worshiping God, while we are praising God, and then we, 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 we change gears into inspired singing. And then we sing an inspired song. That is in verse 15. What is it, the conclusion? I will pray with the spirit, and I will pray with my understanding. I will sing with the spirit, and I will also sing with the understanding. That is something that should be experienced among spirit-filled Christians, spirit-filled congregations, spirit-filled people of God. They must enjoy this continuously in their life with the Lord. There's an inspired praise if you read verse 16. Otherwise, if you bless, bless with the Spirit, how will you, he who occupies the place of the unborn, say, and uh, amen, and your giving thanks. And since uh, he does not understand what, uh, what you say, now let's bless the Lord, praise him, and bless the Lord, which be there in my prayers, in my worship, be able to praise the Lord and bless Him in the Spirit. Uh, and and the, 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 the issue of praising and blessing the Lord in the Spirit draws me nearer God because God is a Spirit. And they that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and truth. For the Father seeketh such, such to worship. So it's important to understand that inspired prayer is very critical to my my prayer life, and uh, inspired singing is it, it, it is very critical for my 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 my, my prayer life. Inspired praise 
and bless you because all these things are components of prayer. They are they are involved. They are involved in them in, in, in our prayer. Uh, inspired praise, inspired blessing. And then lastly, inspired thanksgiving. The Bible says you for you indeed give thanks well, but the other is not edified. But in my hybrid uh, closet, hey, I can do this and uh, give thanks to the Lord via or through my spirit. And that makes a, a, a lot of difference given in me when I, I pray in the spirit, when I give thanks in the spirit, speaking to my father in the in the languages that the spirit helps me to to use so that I speak to my father in heaven. The Holy Spirit was is the unceasing spirit of prayer. He is always in the business of continual prayer, continual song, continuous praise, and continuous thanksgiving. Where he is in, the, in, in a Christian or in the church, if the church worships God in the spirit, in, 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 in spirit and in truth, there is a continuous and unceasing <clears throat> a move of the spirit in, in prayer, song, praise, and thanksgiving. Not sometimes, usually, we enjoy uh, singing in the spirit once in a few. That's not the way God has planned. Then, if we, we, we miss these this, this, this experiences, we miss it so much. Uh, that pertains to worshiping and praising and singing and praying to God. This should be a privilege of every spirit in believer. Inspired prayer, inspired song, inspired praise and blessing, inspired thanksgiving. It is a privilege of every spirit in gentlemen. Not it's not for certain people. You know, in some of these churches of ours, they are people who, who think this business of inspired prayer, inspired song, inspired faith and blessing, and inspired thanksgiving. This was a, a particular group of people. No, every member in the body of Christ has this right to be able to, to engage in this uh, uh, acts of the Spirit. Uh, prayer, inspired prayer, and so forth. Now, the, 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 the vocal gifts uh, to be uh, vocal gifts to be exercised not by some. They are supposed to be exercised by all members of the body of Christ. This was Paul's desire, uh, namely uh, speaking in tongues, interpretation of tongues. Paul says in verse 5, I would like every one of you to speak in tongues. I would, this is a possibility, but Tarani, this is something that should be happening. So Paul says, the apostle of the Gentiles, I would like everybody of you to speak in tongues. When others are speaking in tongues, there should be no spectator there should be no people who think that is for Ujamini, for Ukumari, yeah, this is his thing. No, it is not Ujamini or Kumari's thing. It belongs to everybody in the church which has, has been filled, baptized in the Holy Spirit. Paul would not instruct us to pray for the gift of if God did not want him to give us to have the gift uh, of, of, of speaking in tongues. This uh, business of praying in the spirit goes hand in hand with it. interpretation, prophecy, as we read in the last verse in the chapter 
14, chapter 14, first Corinthians. For you can all prophesy one by one. And then all may learn. And all may be encouraged. You know, this, this, this business of what serving God and worshiping God, whether by prophecy or by speaking in tongues, is something we all should be aspiring hungering to learn or to get to engage because it is there when we practice that we learn you learn to prophesy you learn to speak in tongues you learn to, to practice the gifts of the spirit so it's a, it's important that we should all understand that we are here to learn and uh, those who seem to be um, have moved afar or to be uh, used of God, they are not experts. They started by learning, and uh, in, in, in the learning, in the learning, they became people who are used of God because they learn to be used of God in the issue of God's The Bible says, God wants every believer to speak in tongues. He commands. That is all. Those who do not pray for for for, for interpretation, those uh, who speak in tongues, he says they must interpret. He concludes by telling them that all may prophesy. All, not some. All may prophesy. So these gifts are, 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 are given to the church so that. We may all learn to participate and practice and edify the church. As he has said, when we aspire, when we long, we must long for those gifts that edify the church. These gifts do edify the church. I believe when people are taught, are taught properly, faith will, really, will be released in them to receive these gifts. I, I believe. Why most people are not engaged or involved in these spiritual gifts where which everybody claims to be a church that works uh, by gifts? It's because people are not taught. The Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. We must those who are preaching, who are teaching, who are leading brethren in the church, wherever, should make sure that people are taught so that they can develop faith to exercise these gifts. Because these gifts are there, we cannot come, we come sometime in the future. We have them in us. By the way, the Bible has told us Christ in us the hope of God. When he came into us, he came with all the gifts because he is all the gifts that the church needs. In other words, when we have received Christ as our Savior, the hope of glory, he lives in, in us and he manifests himself through us. In fact, what, what we should understand is that he, when we manifest a gift, when we Pronounce or do something which shows the gift of Christ or Holy Spirit, it tells us that Christ is manifesting himself through the particular person. In other words, it is, or it should be, like when everybody is in the church should aspire, should desire to manifest the presence of Jesus. We are uh, depriving ourselves and those around us something very important in the edification of the church when we do not practice or manifest and show the presence of Christ uh, by not uh, operating in the gifts of the Spirit. Let me continue. The gift of interpretation in private prayer. That's what Paul has said in chapter 14. This brings to us to some fresh and exciting principle of prayer 
which can uh, transform our Christian life if we trust you. You and I can pray in tongues and interpret in our private prayer times with God. You know, we do not need to leave here wait until we get into the congregation. But in our closet, in our private place, we can pray in tongues and interpret in our private prayer times. People, uh, uh, people sometimes will say when the person was uh, speaking in tongues and interpreting in tongues that was in the church, they said, Makaya is there. Uh, he, he, he or she should not interpret her own tongue. But this is what the scripture says. We must pray that if we speak in tongues, we must pray that we interpret what we 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 we, we, we spoke in, in, in prayer. Listen to Paul in First Corinthians chapter 14, verse 18 and 19. It is clear uh, these ten thousand speaks on ten thousand words. Uh, were uh, were accomplished in prayer that is private times. Maybe that he, he that is why his his five words of prophecy were so powerful uh, because in private places he says, "I thank God I speak with tongues more than you all." I thank God for that. And verse 19, yet in the church, I would rather speak five words with my understanding that I may uh, teach others also than 10,000 words in a time. So in other words, he only encourages us here to speak in times. He says in private, it's 10,000 words. That's a lot of words uh, in, in his private prayer. But when he comes to the church, because it's time for education, he speaks five words. That is why, in other words, the 10,000 words he speaks in tongues in his private. When he comes to the church, he speaks five words which are so powerful. In other words, the power of the five words comes from the 10,000 words that is spoke in private. He spoke in tongues. So, in other words, speaking in, in tongues in a private, your private place, he leads you and brings you to the congregation with much possible power because you've been engaged with God, you've been speaking to God, and God, when you come to Him, He empowers you, He reinforces everything that you have and what you say when you speak to There is a need to understand God's will, very important. When we use the gift of tongues in prayer, we are speaking to God in a language unknown to us. No language that we do not know. God understands it because the prayer is the result of the Holy Spirit action upon us. Then we can speak in tongues, it is the work of the Spirit working upon us. Such prayers are in alignment with God's will. Oh, it's wonderful. To understand that when we pray in the Spirit, our prayers are aligned with God's will. We do not pray prayers that are, 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 are not specific, are not direct. We don't wonder. Sometimes when we pray in our vernacular, we strive to, to impress people. We strive to, to try to get those best words. At times we don't get them. We
we wander from left to right to front to back. But when we pray in the spirit, we pray. That's what's going to happen. We may be in 
submitted to the will of God, obedience before God and the Holy Spirit. Then this helps us to put our hearts and minds in harmony with peace. In this way, we begin to think and feel as God as, as God does. Then we pray for the interpretations of our prayer at the time with understanding. We are able to pray with understanding and able to come out of our prayer to something that we want to the same principle applies to sin, blessing, giving thanks to the Spirit. A word of encouragement. Encouragement. The key to the Spirit-filled life is child-like simplicity and faith. You know, some people are so skeptical because they feel like people who are, uh, old people are very skeptical, old people are very afraid to take uh, a leap of faith. Now, you need to take a leap of faith here because you have the faith that makes you childlike and simple and that works through the faith. us better than we know ourselves and is ever ready to provide spiritual direction, correction, and protection. We should pay attention to our thoughts. Pay attention to our thoughts, our prayers, our songs, and songs following the time of praying or singing this to me. The overflow of God's Spirit of the great works and then uh, songs of interpretation for your education, understanding, and guidance in the very place where you live. all guidance will be in harmony with God's weight and receive approval, confirmation from a uh, wise and godly counselors in the world as trust other brethren who are the joy in the Lord and the way of heaven. Sometimes the interpretation of tongues will be washing. Sometimes at other times it may be prayer by which the Lord may wish to uh, reveal something to us that we will be with the purposes and understand his purposes for our life. Sometimes interpretation of tongues will bring prophetic insight, a word of knowledge that can help us uh, to see more specifically for the churches, teachers of the gospel, and the national and worldwide affairs. Lord, and empowered by the Spirit to pray. 
your warmth, your teaching has infiltrated us like Jeremiah who said your word is like fire in his bones. This is what we feel right now to pray your prayers, to have the 10,000 words the 10,000 word, words giving birth to the five words of understanding. Oh my God, my God, thank you so much, Lord. There is way you want us. If you want us somewhere, no wonder, Lord, you had so much time to pray. Today we understand why you could even divorce yourself, Lord from the masses and climb the mountain of prayer and when you come down there my dear father you do not sweat because the time of sweating is in the secret today lord you have taught us something thank you so much thank you lord even to hear from you lord that you want all of us to pray in the spirit it is a command it is what you want from us lord it's not for the chosen few it is for the church my god you also want us to be able to interpret our prayers praying in the spirit thank you so much lord we bless your daddy we honor you thank you for your servant in the name of jesus when we started we were not this way but as we end different people my god my god oh father god thank you so much we give you praise <laughs> to do singing in the spirit thanksgiving in the spirit blessing in the spirit oh my god engage us lord make us understand your will thank you so much for everything thank you so much for yourself thank you so much for the organizers of this event we need more of this lord more than anything we need this is what we Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, servant of the Lord, Apostle Madonna, for our prayer. Uh, to Apostle MP Bomonda, Father. Thank you so much, Daddy, for allowing the Holy Ghost of God to uh, really pour his heart unto us, his people, the church, tonight. Indeed, like I said, we are edified with better people than we were when we started. And we have learned one or two things. And going forward, what's left for us is to and continue to engage in this is for us to continue to then uh, practice you spoke about ensuring that we, we practice like any other skill we practice we create a platform and, and the, the environment that's conducive for us to practice exercising ourselves in the gifts of the holy spirit and that includes praying all kinds of prayer including praying in the spirit allowing our spirit to pray in the spirit. So, like I said, when I started my preamble, that this conference came out of an instruction from the Lord, it will 
and to get us to pray every morning at five o'clock in the morning. And we've been doing that. This is heading towards the second month. While doing that, this conference was born the way I explained to you in terms of my camera. So those who can, those who are available, those who may want to, you know, join us tomorrow morning and every other morning at five o'clock, do so, connect with us. We continue to pray. And the, the emphasis is in all kinds of prayer with a special emphasis on speaking in this other time. God bless you. We are going to meet again tomorrow on the second day of this conference and heading to the third day in Trudy on Wednesday. Daddy, once again, thank you so, so much for lavishing upon us such a great teaching, you know, and, and, and administering the, the spirit unto us. Because as we speak in the New Testament, we're not speaking Zulu or English, we're speaking spirit. And we have received that spirit communication from you. May the Lord do you very, very well. We are heading to close. We are fully aware that there is a power outages that are that is affecting many people. We are grateful that we are able to be allowed uh, to be able to connect without much challenge, challenges to some of us. But the good thing about this is this is populated in a number of other Facebook pages. Where you miss anything, go to that page, one of those that were mentioned here, and you are able to go to every other day. And this will later then be populated and uploaded on YouTube. So going forward, there should not be much challenge about getting this information and this great teaching going forward. I am going to then ask that we close, uh, Brother Prof. Uh, Brother Somila, allow me to just close right away so that we save this time. We are able to release ourselves and get right back in to come back tomorrow morning. Mr. Lishonor, we see you from the big park in the bar in Gauteng. And I ask you that you open the mic and close this great and day number one of our prayer conference with all of the prayer meetings. Let me ask um, Mr. Marenge from uh, Namibia if you can just close the, with the, 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 the day number one of our conference with a word of prayer. Good sir. Mr. Marenga, uh, could you? Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, let us all pray. Father, we want to thank you. We give you glory, we give you honor, we give you praise. We really want to thank you for this wonderful teaching from our Father. It was very uplifting. It was very powerful. Thank you very much as we have started the conference today. We pray for the very impact of the Holy Spirit, of the power of the Holy Spirit to continue to teach and to give us lots of uh, inspiration so that we can grow in the Spirit as we are in this place of prayer. Thank you, Father. Bless our Father as he's advancing in faith, giving more and blessing God in the name of Jesus. We thank you even for our Pastor Kai for all we have participated in this conference. Please give us wisdom, knowledge, so that we can grow in the Lord in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, God, for everyone who participated in this conference in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.